name is Shreya and I'm going to be talking about my article, Immigration and Is It a Problem? Now, for those of us who have been following the news for quite some time now, the Trump administration in US, Theresa May's government in the UK, have all tried to bring up stringent practices to stop the influx of migrants into their country. Now, before we venture into why immigration or how immigration can be a problem, let us say or let us figure out the reasons of why people actually migrate. Now, these reasons can be either pull factors or push factors. The pull factors are concerned with the place where the person is migrating to. It can be in the form of better job opportunities, better standard of living, or increased per capita income, and various other factors like these. And the push factors are those that are associated with the place where the person is originating from. This can be in the form of severe political turmoil in the country. This can also be in the form of certain epidemics that breaks out, droughts or famines, or lack of job opportunities. Now we always see migrants moving from economies which are less developed to very advanced economies. The United Nations report on international migration published in 2017 talks about how India, China, Syria have all been major contributors to the increased number of migrants to advanced economies like US, UK and Germany and other such countries. So we can see how push factors and pull factors are working here. Now how can migration be a problem? Why does immigration pose such a threat to the security of a nation? Let's talk in terms of economics first. With people moving in from lower developed economies, they also bring with them cheap source of labor. They get the jobs which essentially should be provided to the youth of one's own country. While doing this, they deprive the employment opportunities of a lot of domestically settled people who might not have the same chance of migration. So, migrating people do thieve job opportunities of the locals. Let's talk in terms of national security. People migrating can bring with them a lot of evils. They can bring with them anti-social things. It can be in the form of unregistered weapons, it can be in the form of banned drugs, or it can even be in the form of certain epidemics which they might carry with themselves. And who's to say, it might also be in terms of terrorists coming in. I know it is humane to allow people coming in from politically disturbed backgrounds or severe, severely affected life conditions, and it's always good to provide them with asylum. But in the interest of our own national security, strict check has to be put in on who is allowed to enter the national bound boundaries and who is going to be kept outside. And this is why the governments all across the country are taking steps to prove it. To know more about this, please log into to and enjoy reading.